this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And today, I am doing yet another challenge against Iballistic Squid, who is up in his tower somewhere. And tell you what, I'm going to go up inside of my tower as well, as I explain exactly uh, what this challenge is. As you can see by the, the title, it is called the No HUD Challenge. And uh, the reason for that is because we won't have a HUD. And you might be asking, what is a HUD? Uh, it's basically the, uh, the hello squid nugget, <laughs> the, the heads up display, which is basically all of these menus here. And also my hand is going to be turned off. And tell you what, I will do that right now. So let's go setting option, no, setting user interfaces. And then there we go. So HUD and hand are both going to be switched off. So this is going to be my view. I can basically just see the Minecraft world and nothing else. And uh, this is very difficult because I can't see how hungry I am. Uh, I can't see how much health I have. And uh, most importantly, I have no idea what item I am holding. <laughs> and so, yeah, the challenge is we've got to get a bunch of different items uh, while playing in this way. And uh, if that's not difficult enough, we are also allowed to attack each other. So the rules are the first day... We can't attack each other, but after the, the first sunset, we are then allowed to fight each other as much as we want, apart from inside of uh, this area here. So there are uh, pretty much the, the rules. So the only real way uh, to find out properly how uh, what items I'm holding is to look in third person, and I can kind of switch and see, right, I'm holding a sword, and then I switch back, and now I can't see anything uh, at all. So <laughs> this is going to be difficult. And the, the three items I need to get is a bucket of lava, a golden apple and some bread and once I put the item in I switch the light on uh, then squid knows uh, what items uh, I have so it's going to be a straight up race uh, first person to get each of the the items uh, will be the the winner and remember we can attack each other as well so I could either uh, go and try and get all of the the items straight away uh, or I could go and try and uh, attack squid nugget and uh, try and take him out and uh, stop him from doing the uh, the same uh, we got our little beacon in the the middle uh, just showing us where the the home is and oh, I got a map as well and can I I can't use a map the map doesn't work does it because I don't have a hand it's totally oh no look it does work okay look even though I don't have a hand when I switch to the map it does still come up so uh, that is actually a uh, pretty handy actually I do, uh, do know uh, that I can use the uh, the map uh, if I if I want to but where's the where is the the sun can you see the the sun oh it's becoming day right so what I need to do is if I set it to, to night time uh, then that way uh, we can sleep and then in the the morning uh, we can uh, go and uh, begin the the challenge properly so that's gonna be the starter and remember this first day is the only real safe time we have uh, where we can't attack each other so uh, what I think I will do is that I'll go and try and get the if I try and get the bread first to tell you what I try and get some seeds and I try and start a, a farm going and then hopefully I can leave the the bread growing and if I leave it somewhere hidden hopefully squid won't find it and steal it and then I can go uh, once it starts to get dark I can go down in a, a mine and go after everything else so oh there's a skeleton there let's avoid him and uh, let's shut this behind us and uh, right let's let's just run separate from squid shall we uh, because I am going to to try and um uh, yeah try and set up a, a wheat farm uh, I don't want him to steal it because there's nothing uh, wrong with him stealing my items uh, that's part of the the game so I want to set up a secret wheat farm uh, where I can go and uh, try and grow my crops uh, without squid nugget finding them so uh, let's just try and find a place with a bunch of seeds and also if I cut down a, uh, a few of these trees it'd be good to get an apple as well because I need a golden apple and uh, to do that I of course need gold uh, and an apple <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory what you need to make a golden apple isn't it so uh, let's go and uh, break away a bunch of of these um uh, the, this grass here and uh, see if we can get some seeds and I only need one piece of bread uh, but you need three pieces of, uh, of wheat uh, in order to, to get that bread so uh, let's just go and break away all of these seeds uh, like this and uh, let's see how many I've got so uh, there we go, I got 10 10 seeds already that is crazy it normally takes ages to get that many seeds right <laughs> jolly good so uh, let's go and cut down some of these trees and then before I go down to the mine I'm gonna come back here and uh, see if hopefully there's some apples around the place because I could uh, also break the the leaves and uh, just hope uh, an apple drops but I think this might be a nice way to do it on mass and also uh, I probably want to, to gather some wood anyway uh, before heading down to the the mine uh, so I'm kind of doing two good things at the the same time so I don't think the apple's gonna be too hard it's just a little bit annoying cause it's kind of random uh, to when you get an apple uh, sometimes you'll get one straight away and sometimes you have to wait for absolutely ages breaking every single leaf <laughs> on the the tree until you get it uh, 
That's alright then. Uh, let's go and try and find some water, uh, which is a little bit more hidden. Oh, there's a doggy over here as well. Oh, look, here we go. Oh, look, there's a tiny bit of water down here. I could use this. This is perfect. Right, so uh, I don't actually have a uh, a hoe, so uh, let's go and make myself a, a wooden hoe first. I need to get to the, the crafting table. Oh, look, look at that pig hiding in the tree. I see you up there, piggy. You can't hide from me. Right, let's go and uh, uh, stop being crazy, and uh, let's go and make myself the, uh, uh, the hoe, and let's go and plant uh, some of these wheat seeds down here. And uh, hopefully, uh, Squid Nugget won't find these. So I'm going to go and plant these. I'll keep some spare seeds on me as well. Uh, just in case something goes wrong, I can do some more. And actually, oh look, I got bones. I can grow them. I can grow the, the wheat. I might just be able to make the wheat straight away now. Let's see. Uh, so is it four bone meal I can make? Oh, no, I get three bone meal. Oh, so this isn't going to be enough to get my wheat. But I should be at least able, there we go, uh, to get one piece of wheat. And so that's one down, I guess. Uh, so only two more to go. So if I do find any more bones, uh, that might be a, a nice way to speed along the, the process. But for now, uh, let's put them back down. And then let's go and put some torches down. And then let's go and try and get my uh, axe. So what I've done... Is I've oh sorry piggy uh, I've all I've organised my inventory in order so I've got the uh, sword pickaxe shovel axe and then uh, I'm gonna put the food next to that and I actually pretty much always use this order anyway so if I'm smart and count along I should be able to kind of guess which tool it is I'm using even if I don't actually look at it and let's see any apples any apples of course I'm not that lucky to get apples straight away <laughs> worth a go all right then there's a little bit of coal up here so before we go down to the the I might as well grab this uh, just so we have some torches to start with and I should uh, yep look I'm using my pickaxe and now if I go one across I'm using my shovel and now I'm using my pickaxe again so there we go by just organizing my inventory even though I can't see what I'm using uh, I kind of know uh, what I'm using anyway so hopefully uh, Squid Nugget isn't doing the, the same and hasn't got an order and then he's getting more confused than me that's what I'm uh, hoping for anyway all right then I got myself uh, a bit of coal uh, so let's go and try and find a, a good opening uh, into a, a mine so Somewhere. Hopefully uh, there's just going to be a big hole somewhere around here. I'm kind of scared to go too close to Squid because I think the, the first uh, chance he gets, uh, he's going to, to try and attack me. And I know he went off in that direction somewhere. So let's go and uh, have a look over this way. There seems to be a little... <laughs> That's what I thought was a hole. <laughs> Down here? Nope, that's not a hole either. Any good holes? It's kind of never good to do it near mountains. Uh, because sometimes when you're trying to get out of the, the mine, you're digging up and you end up digging through the mountain, uh, which isn't very helpful. Uh, so let's just go and uh, keep heading this way, shall we? I know I might be hungry, actually. Uh, let's go and get my food. And let's see. Oh, look. See, I was hungry. Oh, this is going to be so scary. Oh, look, I was really... Look, oh, look how hungry I was. And I had no idea. This is, um, this is dangerous. If I'm down in a, a mine and I don't realize how hurt I get, that could be bad. We do have... Uh, keep inventory on and if you don't know uh, that just basically means that if we die we don't drop all of our items over the the floor uh, like you normally do so uh, that doesn't make it too dangerous but you know say if I just found a good mine or found some gold and something and I die before I get it uh, that could be where the problem is so I can make myself uh, a few more spare torches now and I actually just remembered that I did have a bunch of torches anyway so that probably uh, wasn't quite as useful and let me put my torches here then that way I can easily switch uh, between my sword Sword and my torches so there's my sword if I go like that I can go and put the the torches down right I think I'm even more organized uh, than I was before let's go and try and find a good cave then shall we now, hopefully there's going to be a big opening so I basically need I need iron and uh, gold mainly that's the uh, the two main things that I that I need and uh, yeah so that's uh, to make the the bucket and of course the uh, the golden apple as well and this looks quite good I'm trying to put the the torch down there we go that was the the right one <laughs> you don't know when I'm switching between my items because it doesn't show up on screen but I'm switching between them quite a bunch and then this should be my sword again uh, but this didn't go too deep uh, but I think uh, this might be a good place uh, to start digging down because I've gone a little bit deep oh look at that is that not amazing? <laughs> How lucky was that to dig straight into this uh, this cave here? So let's keep looking down and let's try and find some iron. <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? Right, so that's the that's the easier thing. The iron isn't going to be uh, too difficult. Uh, so no, that's not a pickaxe. I thought that was a pickaxe, but it's a sapling. Yeah, so I need three pieces of iron. 
in order to, to make myself a, a bucket. And it looks like I have got that already. So pat on the back for, for me. Uh, but I also would really like uh, to make myself uh, an iron sword and uh, possibly some um, some iron armor as well. Uh, just because I know there is a chance uh, that Squid Nugget's going to go after me. So let's go and hopefully I'm using my sword right now. Please be using my sword. Yep, there we go. That had to have been my sword because I killed it so quick. So yeah, it'd be good to, to make myself a... Um, uh, an iron, uh, yeah, an iron sword and maybe some armor as well, uh, just in case Squid Nugget does go after me, and uh, then I have a, a good chance of defending myself, and also, I mean, it's gonna sound mean, so I can attack Squid, <laughs> we are against each other, and Squid is the, uh, uh, definitely the record holder for winning more of these than I do, so I do have a, I guess, something to prove a little bit, so, uh, yeah, the, the better I do, the, the better it is for, for me, so, uh, what I might do, seeing as it can be quite dangerous down here, is I'm gonna go a little bit deeper, and while mining, I'm just gonna leave Leave some of this coal smelting so I should probably get some more cobblestone actually I think I I think I do have enough so let's make sure I am definitely on my sword and uh, let's go a, a little bit deeper into this mine so if I just leave some smelting I can make the the bucket that I need uh, and then I can also go and uh, make myself uh, at least uh, an iron sword just to keep me a little bit safer down here and oh this isn't the the end of this cave is there let me see if it leads uh, further down I do want to go deeper I think uh, uh, you need to be a lot deeper to get gold uh, compared to iron so I would uh, definitely prefer to go down deep. Oh, no, look, there's gold right there. I found gold. I have found gold. And actually, I think I need a, um, uh, right, where's my pickaxe? Let's keep switching through them until I get my pickaxe. There we go. That's got to be my pickaxe. <laughs> I think I need uh, an iron pickaxe in order to get the gold, actually. But this is good. I've got pretty much everything I need. I don't need to worry so much about all of the, uh, the iron sword and stuff because once I've got that bread, I should be okay. So I think a main thing to do is to try and get some bone meal. as then that way I can grow the, the wheat and I need the apple as well. I can't forget about the apple. It might seem like the easiest part of this uh, whole challenge. Uh, but yeah, as I said, sometimes you can be uh, quite uh, unlucky with that stuff. So uh, let's go and leave that smelting and I can make the, the pickaxe. And while that's going, I might as well have a, a little quick look down here uh, just to see if there's anything else I can find. Let me get to my torches uh, so I can light up the either way. And uh, oh, look, there's more gold. There's more gold right here. There is gold for days. Right. I seem to be set. And oh, look, skeletons, skeletons as well. Right. Let's go and uh, get my sword out, shall we? And actually, let's have something to eat first before I go in. Oh, no. Oh, they're here. They're here. They're here. Uh, where's my sword? Where's my sword? Where's my sword? That's my sword. That's my sword. <laughs> and look, bones. It dropped bones as well. Right. Let's go and uh, have something to, to eat, shall we? And uh, then I'm going to go and take out the, the other skeleton. Oh, I got full hunger anyway. <laughs> I was just panicking. All right, there we go. I got bones so I can get bone meal. This has gone perfectly. Everything that could have gone right has gone right. And I don't want to jinx it, but look, even more bones. So let's go and uh, grab the, the iron that I found. And where was the iron I found? Oh, I haven't lost it, have I? Was it down this way? I think this is the way I just came from. Yeah, there's some more gold there in case <laughs> I do get lost. But I think it's just up here to the, the left, isn't it? Yep. All right, let's go and uh, let's go get the, the iron. And let's make the, the pickaxe. And oh, wait a minute. I'm forgetting something. I don't have the lava. It's not just a bucket. I need to make a bucket of lava, don't I? Okay, right. We're not done yet. I'm starting to celebrate too early. And oh, look. I got horns. <laughs> I got little arrow horns. Little antennas out the, the top of my head. <laughs> right, then. Let's go and uh, grab a bit more of this iron. So I've got my I've got my pickaxe ready here. Uh, so let's go and uh, switch the, uh, the old rubbish stone one. And I can grab this iron one. And let's go and get this gold. And I don't know how much gold you need to do the, the golden apples uh, so I might as well just gather it, uh, it all I might as well uh, just be safe and just get all of the, the iron while it's here it's going to be pretty easy to get and yeah then I need to go and carry on digging down so I'll make the, the bucket and uh, an iron sword as well now and then I'll keep going down and uh, try and get the uh, the lava if I can. I can't believe I forgot about the lava. I was so happy thinking I had everything I needed. Uh, but nope, I certainly did not. So uh, let's go grab this iron. And uh, we might as well smelt this uh, iron, ho uh, iron ore here while I have it already. And uh, now let's make the... Yeah, I do definitely have enough to make myself a bucket and a iron sword. So I feel a little bit safer now. Uh, I don't have any more uh, armor on me. Uh, but this should be okay for now. And I got all of my bones, so I want to keep them safe. Uh, I got my bucket here and uh, the iron, uh, the gold, sorry, uh, is uh, smelting away right now. Let's just look and see uh, what I need to make a golden apple. Is it with food? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I need, well, actually, I do need quite a lot. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gold. 
I need eight gold. Is it ingots or nuggets? Or no, I think it's ingots, isn't it? And, uh, oh yeah, I don't have enough. I don't have enough gold either. No, I was getting so happy celebrating. <laughs> and I totally don't have what I need. It certainly uh, looks like uh, this is going to be much more of a, a long haul challenge <laughs> than I first predicted. Oh, did I imagine something? I think I saw some smoke. I think I saw some smoke close up and then I panicked that something was here. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, this is the gold. I need two more pieces. How horrible is that? Two more pieces of gold. Let me just do a quick check. There's nothing else around here, is there? And let me just check in the other place because if I could find two more pieces of gold right now, that would be very convenient. But I sadly uh, do not think that I'm going to be that lucky Any more gold around here. Nope, uh, no more gold. So what I do need to do then is uh, keep digging down, I guess. I need to keep going down lower uh, to try and get the uh, the lava. And here we go. It definitely goes deeper down here. Uh, but how much deeper? Uh, I don't know. So this is my pickaxe. I should be on my sword now. And then this should be torches. <laughs> I must admit, I am doing quite good at keeping track of what I'm holding. But I think this is just about uh, as deep as this area goes. Uh, so let's try and get back to my pickaxe. No, not pickaxe. Let's just switch between the items. There we go. This is the, the pickaxe here. And let's just dig down then. Uh, I can't uh, waste my time just wandering around this small cave. I need to go and dig down as fast as I can and uh, get deep enough uh, in order to, to get some lava. Oh, actually, there wasn't any lava near the surface. You do sometimes find lava near the, the surface, and I can't actually remember uh, whether I did see any there or not. So uh, I can't, uh, yeah, I can't rely on that too much. And the good thing is is that um, uh, because we got keep inventory on, if I want to get home really quickly, uh, all I need to, to do is just kill myself. <laughs> I could just jump in the lava after I've got it and uh, use that uh, in order to get back home. But I need the gold as well. I can't forget about the uh, the gold as well. I can't believe I only need two more bits. I found two patches of gold, which was amazing, but there was only a little bit of gold in each group. So it might have seemed really good, but it actually wasn't that amazing. And there's a bit more iron here. I guess I uh, might as well gather that. And if I go like that, I can get to the, the torch. There we go. I'm doing a good job of at least keeping track of what I'm doing. I haven't actually had too much trouble uh, with not having the, the HUD on, actually. Most of the uh, the challenges kind of just come from the, the game anyway. Apart from the, uh, the the skeleton attack when I was hitting it with a sapling, I think. <laughs> I've uh, done okay uh, keeping track of everything. Oh, I got excited then. I saw redstone and then I remembered that I don't need redstone. So uh, redstone's not going to help me very much. So uh, I'm just going to keep digging. And I really don't know what else to do apart from just keep digging around and uh, I think I'm also getting to a, an opportunity uh, where to get out of this place I'm probably going to have to dig straight up. So what I'm hoping is that I'm just going to dig my way uh, into a uh, another natural cave and oh look squid went up in flames. Oh that could either be really good or really bad. Because it could mean that he got killed and now he's like lost where he was. Or he could have been trying to do it on purpose in order to get back to the house. And if that's the case, I don't know if he's got his wheat or anything yet. It is definitely possible uh, that he has got everything that he needs and has gone back to the, the house. But I don't know that yet. I can't assume that. I just kind of need to go and uh, carry on doing my thing. And uh, digging down this uh, uh, down this tunnel and uh, finding what I need. So I think uh, this might be a good opportunity uh, to end this episode here. So uh, yeah, this is going to be the end of uh, part one. Uh, but don't worry, I'll be uploading part two uh, next week uh, where we can go and uh, carry on the, the HUD challenge. And uh, yeah, we can find out who is going to be the, the winner. Is it going to be me or is it going to be Squid Nugget? And oh, lava, lava, that's good. That's good, actually. That is good. I have found lava. That's one thing ticked off the, the list. <laughs> but sadly, that is the, uh, the end of this episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully you are going to join me in the, the next episode. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!